Hello, it's about 20 past nine on Sunday morning, the morning after Izzy's sleepover. So I've just cracked down. Isabel woke up because she's like me. She's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was like trying to be really surreptitious. The other two absolutely flat out. I got myself enough to drink that hopefully I don't need to go down there for a few hours, <laughs> basically till I get hungry. Mind you, I have got some mini cheddars over there on that messy top, so if I get really desperate, I could have that. So I made two coffees, <laughs> the second one, and a load of squash. I've drunk some already. I am so behind with my editing because I've had four nights out in a row, so it's was looking hit and miss but I thought I'll get the Sunday one up because I've got to go out at 2 p.m. today for my gig because it's an afternoon one I'm having the most lucrative August I think I've ever had honestly I am saving up so much money to see me over the winter months it's absolutely amazing I was saying to Mick in the car last night you know I feel like I'm grateful for every booking now everything is like oh so thankful for it after the pandemic like none of us know what's going to happen next you know from day to day so just grateful for every bit of work as it comes in we're wondering now if the cost of living crisis will stop people booking bands we'll just have to see though won't we anyway i've got a vlog to edit and it ain't gonna edit itself so i'll speak to you later i have very randomly lost my main camera that i usually use so i'm using my posh out and about zoomy cam which is quite hard to use but it's my best camera but it's difficult to get the best out of it right I've done something really annoying really annoying I've mucked up my upload basically I had the audio on mute didn't realize uploaded the whole thing with no audio so I'm having to redo it and I've done all the stuff all the stuff that you have to do once you've uploaded a video there's a lot of writing and making a thumbnail and tags and descriptions and links and things anyway I'm going to redo it and it's complicated by the fact that look this is the time and I've got to be out by two today and oh uh, look I was looking everywhere for that thank you now I found it I'm gonna copy and paste it over okay we're cutting it very very fine for tonight's upload 15 minutes left to upload and I've got to leave Oh, in 25 minutes, okay. I need to see it after it's processed because after you upload it, it goes through a period where it processes it and only after that can you watch it. And if something's happened, like you accidentally muted the audio, that's when you find out about it. I need to find out before I go because it's gonna publish while I'm already out doing my gigs. This is the plan. Oh. Anyway, I'm enjoying using this camera for a change. I might change my mind when I come to edit it because it, yeah, it can be more difficult to edit this footage because quite often it just, it looks really unflattering. I mean, it looks right in the monitor. So the Canon, this one, it's just more flattering for skin tones, but also it's better in lower light. Much, much better. It finds light where they're like, you, you wouldn't even think there was any. It just auto exposes up beautifully and it's really good for just getting it on quick and filming quickly. But this one's better for being in focus. Focus on this is a nightmare. You have to keep a constant eye on it or it drifts out. And if you're trying to keep your eye on the camera lens, this is where you have problems because you keep your eye on it and you don't see in the monitor that it's all gone out of focus until you come to edit it. No, it's a bit late then. Right, I'm dressed, as you see. ta -da! And I'm going to go pack my bag now, get everything ready, leave that laptop on, and then hopefully at the last minute, just check it's okay and set it to publish. It's a beautiful hot day again. Oh, what's this now? Something interesting coming up. Oh, is it a church? Yeah. I thought it was a castle with all those castellations up there. per usual we've got a very very narrow lane to go through oh and here comes a van like oh god i don't know <laughs> oh there we are i've got a bit of a passing space that is a lucky there's a stream of them they're all waving <laughs> oh that's a pretty phone box it's been decorated in support of the ukraine We've spotted Sal already, we spotted him up ahead, but he's disappeared again now. We had a bit of a squeeze past a truck thing, didn't we? Look how narrow this road is though. I'm glad that truck's not at this bit. Ah, oh, here we are. Oh, oh, that was a big clunk. I think this is the right way. <laughs> we appear to be driving through a campsite. <laughs> It's a little family gathering today, so I don't think it's any specific party, is it? Just a family party. A small one. Oh, that's um, Gitto from um, Mountain Ash, the runner. Is it? From the Nos Gallen. Oh, right. It's the same statue. Ah. 
So we're here, I've sneaked out the back, there's a group of people in there and they're all watching two lady singers and they're lovely actually, sounds really beautiful and everybody's sitting very attentively. Hello. Wonder what's up here. Oh, balcony. Oh, as a child up here, I better not film him. <laughs> I think everybody liked that. That's the door we just came in. There's our gear down there. I think that's, yes, that's mixed legs you can see down there. The girls have been persuaded to do an encore. That's a funny looking wheel thing. I thought it was a spinning wheel when I first looked up, but it's not at all interesting. It smells of incense up here. It smells really nice. I like it. <laughs> now that's an old fashioned looking sofa, isn't it? There's some like circusy stuff out there. Oh, don't tell Sal. He can't stand tambourines. He's got a thing about them. was the first place we came after the pandemic. Ooh, tea and coffee. Everywhere you look, there's something interesting to look at here. You do get to see some weird and wonderful places when you're a musician, it's one of the perks. Some of the seats are 375 quid, but if you go another time, they're 250. That's to have a table. Mm. Mm. Oh, ah. I'm being tugged backwards <laughs> unexpectedly. Coffee. We need one more couple. Four, back two, three, four, again, two, three, four, back right two, three, camera, four, darling. right hand turn around you go, all the way round, left hand turn the other way back, other way back, all the way back, two hand turn around you go, all the way, introduction coming up, forward, and back, and again go forward. Back with your partner, right hand turn. We're several dancers in, well, I think we're two dancers in actually. It seems to take ages. We've got a lot of children here today squirming about, haven't we? So Mick's bringing out his, uh, his secret weapon, the I Want a Banana dance, <laughs> which he's modified from a grown up dance called I Want to Be Near You. And uh, yeah, gets the kids to all be monkeys. So that's a monkey business now. Facing the band is cover number three. The first monkeys. I want you to separate away from your partner and go around the outside of the set. When you get back, pass your partner again and you're back where you started. The other one beside you is called your corner. Everybody face your corner. To your corner, remembering that you are monkeys, you go... <laughs> and then you face your partner and do the same thing again. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do the promenade, but as you promenade, there's a little song you need to sing. The words are these. I want a banana and a bag of monkey nuts. I want a banana and some strawberry jam. Oi! The whole monkey said, you We have gigged and if we hang around for a bit longer for the food to be ready we can have some curry 
So guess what we're doing? Hanging around for a bit. I might go and get myself another cup of tea though to have while I'm waiting for it. Oh, the kids at the moment are doing a silent disco. They've all got these Bluetooth headphones on, the over the head ones, and they were sort of in groups, in circles, going like this. And I'd like to say the silent disco is silent, but it's not because they're all chatting to each other, and because they've got headphones on, they're all shouting. <laughs> There's one particular scene that I remember. My favourite time, look at this. Oh, good, delicious, thank you. Well, that hit the spot. Now we're on our way home. I've just got in, it's about 20 to 8, and yes, I have been bitten on the neck. I've been bitten somewhere else as well. Ooh, yuck, I can see stuff coming out of it. Yeah, you probably didn't need to know that. Ah, that's itchy, actually. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I just randomly showed you that. I've got three vlogs in the can that I haven't started editing, so I'm gonna have a fun evening doing match now, yay. <laughs> Isabel has fed herself, so she doesn't need feeding. I mean, she's pretty independent these days anyway. I've just eaten, so I don't need feeding. Uh, I'm not going to film for a couple of days because I've got three vlogs worth to edit so, and t tomorrow and the next day are going to be at home days just catching up with all the things that mound up when you don't have at home days you know what it's like. Anyway thank you so much for watching this one could you please give it a like if you liked it and I'll see you in the next vlog bye!